Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. If you're new here, I'm a full-time registered nurse, mom of two small children, and I use the Fly Lady system to clean and maintain my house. Today I want to talk to you about zone cleaning. So zone cleaning, you really don't want to start until you have developed your routines and decluttered your house. So my goal for 2020 is to really get into zone cleaning for because for the most part, my house is decluttered. There is some areas that I'm still working on and that will just come with time and that's really where um, you can use the 15 minute declutter, the two minute hot spots to keep those things decluttered, and also the 27 fling boogie, which I did a video on that last week. So go check that out if you kind of want to see the methods that the Fly Lady recommends to declutter. And so today let's get into the zone cleaning. This is my old control journal. I'm actually transitioning over to a bigger control journal and um, I have a video on my control journal that I'll link above. So let, let me show you. Okay, this is my new setup. I'm going to create a cover page for it. My old one just looks like this, kind of blah. Um, I have protector sheets in here, so I actually just took out what I want to talk about just so you don't have such a glare. This is a map of my house, numbering the zones and locations. And this is how you follow zone cleaning. So today is actually Saturday the 4th, so I'm going to do some zone cleaning. Um, in my zone 1, I have my entrance, my dining room, and my front porch. I followed the Fly Ladies uh, zone setup for these for the most part. And as I go through my zones and I find more things that I need to clean, I'm just going to add them down below and I'll go back and edit this and print off a new copy. So each month you're going to do zone 1 through zone 5 and each week is a zone. So here zone 5 goes up to the 31st and then in February zone 1 will be quite small but it'll all even out because if you see in, um, if I can find it quickly, in March zone 1 is going to be big and zone 5 will be small as well. So yeah, like I said, zone one is my entrance, dining room, and front porch. Hopefully you can see this. Zone two I have as the kitchen. Zone three I am just having as the bedroom, or the bathroom, excuse me. Kids bathroom, master bathroom, and the vanity area. Zone four is going to be the bedrooms, master bedroom, Elliot's room, and Evelyn's room. And so zone five will be the living room, the office, and the laundry room. Having it down like this in your control journal and split up into zones is going to make everything easier because you just do it in small steps every day. You do 15 minutes of zone cleaning when you can. Obviously, with me working full time, I'm not going to be able to do zone cleaning on my 12 hour shifts. That's okay because over time, you will get this list done. It's not that big of a deal. But the glory of having it written down is that you don't have to remember it. You know exactly where you're at in, in your zone cleaning. So then, when you come back to it, you can just pick right up. So let's head over to do some zone cleaning in my entrance area. The Fly Lady believes that every day you should get dressed and put on your shoes to encourage productivity. Wasn't I meant to lie? In your arms 
I'm using a new cleaner here. I decided to repurpose a Method spray bottle and I am using the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. I knew that my daughter was going to be interested in what I was doing because my son was with my mother-in-law and it always seems that when I have one child they are bored a lot easier without the other. I really hope you're enjoying the audio of this video. I recently upgraded to a new microphone and I can definitely tell a difference. I didn't want to cut out that last clip even though I transitioned to a new cleaning area because my daughter was just so cute cleaning the wall and trying to clean her Lego bin. This is the new vacuum that my mother-in-law got that I mentioned in the last video. It's the Shark Rocket Ultralight and I absolutely love it. It's so easy to maneuver and I have gotten it out way more than my last vacuum. It's just so simple to use it for small cleanup projects. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.